the same motion as the snap stall, you can turn a snap stall into a tip step landing that really grabs attention. Be sure you have a few extra spars around when you practice though, because driving your wingtip into the ground as hard as you can could break a rod if the timing's not just perfect. Before you work on the tip stab, know how to hold the kite in a stall and slide it sideways. Master the snap stall so you can really stick the kite to the sky, even in strong winds. For a tip stab, use a snap stall motion to turn the kite into a tip stand orientation. Use the same snaps of the wrist you would for a snap stall. As you do this, let the upper wing back so that the kite slides dramatically downwards onto its wingtip. The key is to give lots of slack with the top hand after jamming on the bottom wing. You also need to use sharp enough wrist motion to kill all the lift in the sail. To practice, start from a horizontal pass and work up to a more and more vertical trajectory. Practice in the air and pretend the horizon is the ground level. This way you can work on your timing without hitting the ground. Stay ahead of the kite and watch the ground, not the kite, to improve your timing. Cock hands and wrists in close to the body for maximum release of line immediately after the stall. Note the ending body position.